Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering. Off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. I'm V Series V's I've been doing for a little while now. You over there try out food and drink items. I eat stuff. I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a little bit of a redemption review. Hopefully. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there and try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. Whilst I'm doing all that, folks, you better believe I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight super cool shirts. What super cool shirt am I wear? wearing today? Boom! It's my Easy Yes shirt. Which I've worn on a number of occasions. And I've certainly yammered on about Easy Yes. Uh, but you're going to listen to me yammer on about it again. That's the format of the show. Uh, Easy Yes is a local Illinois band that I have been privileged to know in their various incarnations for uh, over a decade now. I ran into these guys years and years ago, uh, back when they were an opening band for a band, another band that I like called Texas Hippie Coalition. Uh, ended up chatting a little bit with the lead singer afterwards. He gave me a copy of their CD. And, you know, I just thought they were really cool, really good at what they did. Uh, at the time, they were a band called Paragon, actually. And, you know, I just basically was like, well, you know, they started playing some shows around where I was at, so I decided to go over there and go to a couple of those, and they recognized me, and, you know, we ended up just hitting it off. And ten years later, I'm still listening to their music, promoting their stuff, because they're just fucking fantastic. They're really good guys, and they put out really good music. If you don't believe me, by the way, I actually have plenty of video performances of theirs on my channel, just stuff that I recorded over the years, both as Paragon and as Easy S, which is their new moniker. Uh, really love these guys. Fantastic individuals, fantastic musicians. If you ever want to know more about them, let me know. But anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Why is it a redemption review? Well, provided that I grab the right item, we're reviewing something from Boom from Wendy's, which it's been a little bit since I've reviewed anything from Wendy's. And one of the last things that I reviewed from Wendy's was their loaded nacho burger. And this is not it. That's the second thing. So, boom, it's this one. So let's open it up. All right. So we've got the loaded nacho burger here. Let's go get a thing. It's okay. I got it as a double because, you know, you do what you need to do. And, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> sure. I tried this when it first came out a couple months ago or so, and I'll be honest with you, I wasn't super impressed. I felt let down by Wendy's. And I talked about it at the time, I was like, maybe I'll eventually return to this one. You know, maybe I'll have a better experience. Well, here we are. I was originally going to go to Wendy's, then I decided I was going to go to Scooby's, then I went to Scooby's and it turned out that they're closed on Sundays. So I went to Wendy's. And I figured this is a good opportunity to finally get in the review. So yeah, it's got like, you know, it's got like little crispy bits. And then, you know, it's also got like a kind of a queso sauce. Hopefully, I'll enjoy it more than I did last time. Let's give it a go. I mean, it's Wendy's, so. Home. I mean, the burger aspect is good. It's a Wendy's burger. Wendy's has solid burgers. No two ways about it. Okay. Yeah. Feeling like I might like this one better than last time. Last time, it's been a little while since I did that review now, but as I recall, um, I didn't really feel like I got a lot of the queso sauce. I was a little bit here or there on like the like crispy tortilla bits and stuff. This one though, immediately, I'm getting some of the queso sauce, and it's nice. It's got a nice little, you know, tiny little kick to it. You know, not much, but enough to tickle your your taste buds a little bit. The burger itself is good, man. Again, you know, I like a double burger from uh, from Wendy's. Yeah. 
Yeah. I definitely like this one better. Definitely like this one better. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Uh, that's what washing machines are for. Uh, no, I like it. I like the addition of the, uh, of the tomato. I like tomato on a burger. I don't think there's any pickles on it, which makes me happy, because you folks know I'm just not a big pickle person. But, yeah, I think overall, it's honestly, it's pretty tasty. It's amazing the difference can make, or rather, it's amazing the difference just by having an adequate amount of that queso sauce. Because the queso sauce definitely makes the difference in this burger. Because otherwise, I mean, the crispy tortilla things I'm here and there on, they do add kind of a nice texture, sort of. But it's also an intrusive kind of texture. Or obtrusive, that's what I meant to say. Because it's like you have this nice tasty burger and everything, and then all of a sudden, like, they're really crunchy. So, I'm still here or there on that aspect of them. But having the queso sauce, you know, having that, or well, I don't know if it's queso, maybe it's just nacho sauce or whatever. That definitely goes over there. It elevates the whole thing. Um... It's kind of like, almost like a cheesy mayonnaise kind of flavor to it. It's got a little bit of a zip, a little bit of a zing, and then, you know, it just, it works nicely with the, the overall burger. Yeah. And yeah, it just gives it a little something extra, you know? Yeah. I'm down with it. I, I'm... I'm going to consider, boy oh boy am I hungry too, so that's adding into it, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to consider this particular Wendy's Burger redeemed. I don't think that it's an outright favorite burger of mine from Wendy's, but, because here's the thing, I honestly think that you know, the tortilla chips aren't a terrible idea. I've had burgers that have incorporated tortilla chips. I don't know, man. It just I, it usually doesn't work out that well. Because, again, I feel like the texture just kind of intrudes with everything instead of working with it. But with an adequate amount of the queso or nacho cheese uh, sauce or whatever the hell it is, it's genuinely pretty nice. Like, it just works well. You know, that it's got that spicy cheese flavor. Yeah, not very spicy, but, you know, a little something. And you know, Wendy's burgers are good. And I know it's got, like, this special bun. I don't really think that's doing much overall, but two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? I'm going to go with sure and sure. Again, it's not going to be, an, you know, an outstanding or resounding approval from me because I do think that ultimately I've definitely had better burgers from... Uh, from Wendy's, but I, I can appreciate where they're going with it, and I think when it's constructed well, overall, it's, you know, it's a nice burger. It does taste good. Again, it's Wendy's, you know, and as for the, you know, recommendation aspect of it, I mean, first of all, you gotta like Wendy's. Some people don't like Wendy's. I've had people in the comments who are like, bah, 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 bah. that's fine if you're not into Wendy's, you're not into Wendy's, but I think that, you know, again, I think for me, the worst part really are just those tortilla things. And, like, they're it's live-withable. You know, I don't hate them. I just... I, I don't feel like they need to be there. But I could see some people enjoying them. If nothing else, if only for the queso, you know, or the nacho cheese aspect or whatever the hell it is, yeah, man, it's it's good. I just, again, I think personally the, the tortilla things I don't think really work that well. But I do still think it's a good burger, and I think it is... It has a unique flavor to it, you know? And that's the thing. I mean, especially in the world of fast food where things tend to be very samey, there is something to it as long as it's constructed well and it's good. 
Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Subtract the rest of the week. Monument the rest of the month. Spend the rest of your folks. Go with your yourselves a truly loaded nachos tastic rest of your life. But I mean the real deal. I mean like when you go out to a proper place and you got the piled high nachos and it's delicious. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Especially when you go over there and you get sauce on your your unfortunate easy ass shirt. Which, yeah, you can wash it, but you just washed it. <laughs> That's the... At some point, I'm just going to get a fucking bib for myself. Like, just, just give up entirely. But it's important when we deal with situations in our life that are stressful, frustrating, etc. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe, maybe you've had the loaded nacho burger, and maybe, like me, you have, you know, maybe not the greatest experience with it. Well, look, I'm not going to tell anybody to go over there and waste money on something that they don't like. That's not fair. But what I will say is this. In my life, I have found typically, typically, that most things... Are worth at least a second go. There's been a lot of times when I've gone out to places, whether it was for the review or back when I was, before I was even doing these videos, where, you know, I went over there and I tried out a place, you know, maybe didn't have the best experience and, you know, kind of soured me a bit. But I usually like to give it at least a second shot because, you know, I feel like everybody has a bad day, you know. I know for me personally, you know, there are people... I worked at a gas station for seven years. I wouldn't recommend it, by the way. I worked at a gas station for seven years. I had countless customers over the years. A good deal of them liked me. You know, we got along well. We, you know, yammered back and forth. There are certainly a good amount of people who weren't my biggest fans. And then there was probably a very small, hopefully, very small section that really didn't like me. And that could be for any multitude of reasons, but at least in some instances, I'm fairly certain it's because they came in while I was having a shitty day and I was a little bit shitty, unfortunately. You know, so I mean, that's kind of my whole thing, is, you know, give the, you know, give things a second chance sometimes. Sometimes. If you want to. Bye!